behavior of a wire under increasing load. Let us study the extension of a wire under increasing load by performing an experiment. Take a long straight wire of uniform cross section. Suspend the wire from a rigid support. Attach a pan at the other end of the wire. Fix the main scale to a vertical stand. The extension of the wire is measured using a vernier arrangement. The vernier scale is attached to a pointer as shown here. This vernier scale can move over the main scale. Place some known weights in the pan and note the extension produced in the wire. Now repeat the experiment for different weights and record the elongation produced for different weights. What do you observe? We observe that the elongation increases with weight. Now go on increasing the weight in the pan till it breaks. Now plot a graph with strain and stress taken along the X and Y axis respectively. Notice that the portion OA of the graph is a sloping straight line. This means stress is proportional to the strain. That is, this region obeys Hooke's law. The point A is known as the elastic limit. The strain or elongation produced is very small in this region and also on the removal of the stress the body regains its original state of zero strain. In this region, the body is perfectly elastic. Now closely watch the portion AB of the graph. The strain increases more rapidly than the stress. The extension in this region is partly elastic and partly plastic. This means that if the wire is unloaded, it will not come back to the original condition. But it will take a different path as shown. OC indicates the residual strain of the wire. You can also say that the wire has acquired a permanent stretch. The point B is called yield point or commercial elastic point. Now consider the portion BD of the graph. In this region, the strain increases rapidly even for a small increase in stress. Therefore, the graph is irregular and wavy. The behavior of the wire from D to F is plastic. In this region, the strain increases with stress. At the same time, the cross-section of the wire decreases uniformly with extension. Beyond F, the length of the wire increases even without any addition of load. At times, the length of the wire increases even if the weight is reduced a little. The stress corresponding to F is called the ultimate strength or the breaking stress. At E, the wire finally snaps and hence E is called the breaking point. We conclude that if a material of the wire is ductile, the portion DE of the curve will be fairly large. Ductile materials can be drawn into wires. Most of the metals are ductile. But if this portion DE is relatively small, the wire will break even for small elongation. Such materials are called brittle. Cast iron, glass, ceramics are examples of brittle substances.